Hey guys, just a quick run through on my, uh, I don't really know, Google Chrome stuff, so I'm going to open it. My homepage is YouTube, and uh, I don't really know what I'm going to be doing here. So I guess I'll just run through my extensions and stuff like that. So right here, I got my ad block. And I'll start over here. Turn off lights. Basically, if you're watching a video, let's go to Enoch because I love him. Uh, you want to turn off the lights? Click that, and there go the lights. And you can you know, change that up, down, whatever. Uh, I'm not really gonna have uh, tutorials on how to get them. Well, I might, but I'm not. I'm not gonna give you links, but I'm not. I will give you a tutorial here. So that's obviously the bookmark button. Here's ad block. Ad block. Hold on. All right. Ad block uh, basically blocks unwanted things on your laptop. Like uh, pause block and add on this page. So if I wanted to block something, I can block the video like I just did, and I'll say it looks good, and block it. And now it's blocked. So you can do that with basically anything. Uh, and that's basically ad block. Right click to get options. Disable on install hide button. Uh, the basics. And then I have a Wikipedia thing. Um, really useful. You can type in whatever you want. I'll type in poop. Poop may refer to. You know, all that. And um, you can actually go to different pages in this little window. And you know you can show stuff and hide and all that crap and you know and here is a basic screen capture device I can print this screen but I, I like this better it's a lot easier you can actually capture the whole page without any uh, disruptions like that and look at that that is one whole page and then you can edit it with all this stuff you know arrow text huge boner um, you can blur stuff out if you want. Blur. If you don't want to see something, just blur it. And then you can highlight stuff, etc., etc. Not a big deal. Close. All right. Here I am actually color disoriented. I don't know. I'm kind of colorblind. So this, because I'm colorblind, it makes it so that if I click it, it shows what normal people see so that just helps me out and uh, I'm gonna go over here to my other extensions because I disabled a few um... hold on alright I'm back after four hours which is really about four seconds where you are but I don't I completely forgot where I was so I'm just gonna I don't know I guess restart or something here I have uh my extensions obviously and here's a list of them some are disabled so you can tell like this one too many tabs it's really useful for when you have a lot of tabs open but uh... I rarely have more than a few and uh... these are all really cool actually so uh... ad block here's another uh... screenshot program boom into box head I already explained that one. Here's Google uh, Toolbox. Now it's up here. Commute all tabs, refresh, reopen, etc. I don't really use it much though, so I just disable it to uh, enhance performance. Download Master. I'm not really sure what that does. I never use it. The Facebook, you just go right to Facebook. Facebook Photo Zoom, which is actually really cool. I'll get to that later. Uh, Google Chrome Similar Pages. Enable. You. Let's say you want to go to YouTube. Okay, you're on YouTube. And you say. And you say, you know, like, what other websites are like YouTube? So you click on similar pages. And it's not working right now. There. And it gives you a list of other pages that you might be interested in. And I use all of these except for, uh,. These two, as a matter of fact, just these two. Um, and let me see. Here's keyboard navigation. This is actually really cool. If I go to again YouTube, 
then, and I want to use the keyboard navigator, then I press the comma button, and this pops up. Uh, never mind, I was in a, I was in a text box. You have to click out of the text box, and you press comma. And then it has all these commands everywhere. And if I want to go to my channel, then I would go to C. C. See, it lights up, then I'm going to press enter. And it's just, you know, it could be, oh, I just signed out by accident. It's it could be either really fast or really slow depending on you know how you're used to it, how much you're used to it. But uh, regardless, um, here's Mega Upload Download Helper, just so I don't have to wait when I'm downloading things from Mega Upload. And here's the same thing for Rapid Share. I don't have to wait when I download things. Uh, here's a game. Here's a proxy switcher. Here's another game. Uh, screen capture. Here is my favorite. I'll save that for last. Uh, stickies, very simple, there's a game, smooth scroll, uh, I have a two, two finger scrolling, even though I don't have a Mac, so if I go to some place like, let's say Facebook, uh, <coughs> you can see how much smoother it is, just look at that, like, hold on, alright there, it's really smooth now, and if you go over here, back to this page it doesn't apply any of these when you're on this page so if you go here you can see how like rough it is so that really helps turn off lights and wikipedia i already explained those two so let's go over here to smooth gestures all right so basically if i hold down the right click button then i can draw something and if i draw a certain you know page navigational tool direction then it goes there automatically and I have some custom ones, like if I want to open up, let's say, Facebook, I would do that. So if I mimic that right there, just about in that direction, like this, I go right to Facebook. If I want to go to YouTube, I go over here, and I just go like that, and now I'm at YouTube. It's very fast, very handy. And that brings me to the Facebook photo zoom. So let's go back to Facebook like so and let's say I want to see this picture right here but I didn't really feel like clicking on it so I can just kinda scroll over it and there it is and this applies to these pictures as well and by the way this is my personal Facebook I don't accept uh, YouTube friends on it so you know um, uh, go over here you know, I just see one of those alright I can just scroll down looking through people that I'm friends with. Very, very easy. Alright, and um, that's about it. Oh, one more thing. Let's say you want to download one of these. You'll go to Google Chrome Extensions. And you click that. And let's see one that I want to, uh, to download. China Weather. Why would people download that? Uh, let's go to accessibility, I guess. I don't know what that does. Uh, let's see. Alright, let's just say I want to do this. I'll install it, and it downloads there, and then you install it here. And it shows you type ahead, find is now installed. You go here. You go to Tools, Extensions, and it should be downloaded in here. Yes, there. Then you can go to Options, see what it does, etc. How to use the extension. Uh, I don't really know how to use this now, but whatever. Let's. Well, you know, it's just how you do it. I'm, I'm probably never going to use this, so I'm just going to disable it. There you go. That, it's simple as that. So, you know, that's basically it. I'll, uh, if you guys want any of the things that I just showed you, send me a message, comment, and I'll give you the link to it. But, you know, aside from that, that's basically it. Those are my extensions and accessories, and I'll see you guys later.